Hello, <clears throat> exercise is medicine video two. Back. So today they the take home message, take home message one is exercise should become an essential part of our daily, let me mention it, daily routine. So there are multiple epidemiological studies showing that uh, people who are physically active are healthier and live on average longer than sedentary ones. And uh, we know in contrast that sedentary people, they have a greater risk of both mortality and disability. So here are uh, uh, the paper by RM 2015 showing the relationship between uh, risk of all cause mortality with uh, moderate to vis vigorous physical activity. These are minutes per week, as you can see here, from zero as people they start to increase their uh, minutes of uh, weekly physical exercise. Uh, there is a steady decline. These are, as will be seen in a second, the guidelines that people should do at minimum of 150 to 300 minutes. And so there is a decline of a uh, relative risk that uh, plateaus a bit more than 300, probably around uh, 300, about, uh, well, it plateaus at, 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 at Five plus 500 plus 150 minutes and above 500 minutes per week, there is no further improvement. And as we'll discuss in a future video, above a certain level of physical activity, it might become detrimental. As you can see, there is an increase in mortality above 1100 minutes of moderate to vigorous physical activity per week. So the message is that yes, within the 300, uh, 150, 300 minutes, there is a major reduction in mortality. So the new guidelines, the 2018 guidelines based on these experiments and other experiments are suggesting that adults, men and women should uh, do at least 150 to 300 minutes of moderate intensity exercise per week or 70 to 150 minutes of vigorous intensity aerobic physical activity per week or a combination of the two. Uh, another important point of these guidelines is that they, they, sh they should also incorporate in their weekly uh, routine two or more days of uh, muscle strengthening uh, exercises, activities. So let me just give you some examples of what is moderate intensity aerobic activities. Uh, so uh, brisk walking, four to six kilometers per hour, bicycling with a speed of less than 16K per hour, water aerobics, tennis in doubles, playing volleyball, ballroom dancing, ranking the yard. Instead of the vigorous intensity aerobic activities are race walking or jogging, uphill walking with a 10K pack, running, with a speed of 6.58 K per hour, bicycling with a speed of higher than 16 K per hour, tennis in single, so an intense tennis game, strenuous fitness class, vigorous aerobic density, heavy gardening like digging or other very heavy gardening. So these are example of vigorous intensity aerobic activities. Now, in the same guidelines, they uh, suggest that preschool children aged three to five should be encouraged to be physically active throughout the day, every day. And that's unfortunately not happening in our kids. They are spending lots of hours in front of screens and PlayStations. 
And uh, for children and adolescents age 16 to 17, the guidelines suggest that they should perform at least 60 minutes of moderate intensity to vigorous intensity physical activity every single day. I believe that also adults, as they get more fit, they should try to incorporate these uh, uh, half an hour to one hour of physical activity every single day. And I'm going to explain in the future videos how you can do it, how you can achieve it without getting stressed and, you know, and without getting damaged. So again, not, I, I believe that not only in adults, but also in children, the role of 60 minutes per day of exercise should be uh, implemented for health, for optimal health. And again, the guidelines suggest that pregnant and postpartum women should uh, achieve 150 minutes weekly of moderately intensive aerobic activity that's going to improve uh, pregnancy outcomes and uh, newborn uh, health. So just to conclude, not only for total mortality, but for cardiovascular risk mortality, as you can see here in this paper, uh, even small amounts of physical activity are beneficial for health and in preventing, as I'm going to explain in, in the next feature, the, a video, the, the, the inhibiting multiple aging pathways. And I'm going to explain the mechanisms. So if you are a sedentary person, just starting to get moving is going to, as you can see here, drastically reduce your uh, your uh, cardiovascular risk. It's not a linear relationship, but it's curvilinear relationship with a stronger effect at the beginning when you start to move. And then, you know, as you improve the uh, frequency and intensity and duration until a certain point, you still have improvement, but much less than when you are sedentary and you start to exercise. Thank you for listening and uh, we're gonna see each other very soon with the third video of this series entitled uh, Exercise is Medicine. Thank you. <laughs>